Carl in Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, Carl, welcome to the program. You had some, some thoughts on my theories here? That's, that's correct. You're on the air, Carl. What's up? Oh, how about this? How are you doing today? Good. Good. I'm, gr- I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Sorry about that. I was thinking just something on the business phone. But, you, you know, um, two things, two quick things. You touched on the, uh, the guns. You, you, have you noticed that, that most of the people, uh, most of the legislature that, that comes up with the let's take your guns wherever you want, mm-hmm. you notice they don't let the people take the guns where they work. Never. Right. And this is an interesting dilemma. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have even thought about this if I was a, 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 a Democratic strategist to say, you know what, let's go out and see if we can bring our guns to the Republican convention. Right. This, this is That's brilliant. A great test. Yeah. I mean, and, and beyond that, you know how they've got this, you know, bring your kid to work day a lot of places? Yeah. We, we, we should start a bring your gun to work day. That, that's, what, that's what it should be, and, and, and that is brilliant. Uh, now, on, on the, uh, the, the Sergeant Bird dog, this, yeah. is, this is totally amazing. I, I, listen, I've known for a, long, for a very long time that the Republican Party, to me in my eyes, have catered to the racists in, in this country. And I've noticed that for the past mm, eight, Five, six, about the past five years since Barack Obama has been president, uh, they have taken over. The, yeah. the races of the Republican Party is the Republican Party. They are the Tea Party. This is who they are. You know, this is what they are. This is what they're going to be. I never in my wildest imagination could have imagined the hatred for this president would make them turn. I should have known when they booed the gay soldier that was in a war theater. I right. should have known that they could have turned on a soldier that has been held hostage. And, and, and as long as us abominations called humans have been on this planet, we've always traded, you know, prisoners after the war right. in some form or another. This is a norm. This is a norm. You trade prisoners. Right. Uh, and, 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 and they're bitching and complaining about something that's, Normally happens, and one of the things that they that they do so very well, Republicans, they prey on the ignorance of lower and middle class white Americans, and and what they've done is they have they have combined Taliban with Al Qaeda. So right. now when people hear Taliban, they hear Al Qaeda, not understanding that these are two different entities. Not only are they two different entities, I mean, Al Qaeda is uh, internationalist in its w- worldview and, and evangelical. The Taliban is is very local, very parochial. They're, it's basically a Pashtun. Uh, it, you know, there are a couple of sects of it, a couple of brands of it, one in Pakistan and one in Afghanistan. But basically, it's it's like this is our tribe, this is our way of life. Leave us alone. That's what that's what the Taliban's all about. Exactly. And they have they have no you know they have no desire to come you know to the United States and convert us to Taliban or anything. I mean they're not, they, they're not they're not evangelical. They're not they got nothing to do with Bin Laden. Uh, you know yeah. you know they 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 allowed him to have a camp in in Afghanistan for a while, but uh, it was the poorest country in the world. They had a GDP of two billion dollars a year. The entire country, and so you know some rich guy who the Americans had been supporting for twenty years. Some rich guy wants to have a training camp. Yeah, so what? You know, so what? What's the big deal? Uh, but but you know, after 9/11, the Taliban, Mullah Omar, offered to give to arrest Bin Laden and give him to us, or at least give him to a third neutral third country. And George Bush said, No, we'd rather have a war, and and we got a war. I mean, it's just totally bizarre. Carl, brilliant observations as always. Thanks a lot for the call. Great to hear from you. Bob.